Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. Looking to the future of Bakersfield. We'll tell you what local officials have planned for this morning's annual State of the City. Plus, multiple fire crews responding to a fire sparking up in central Bakersfield. We'll tell you what officials are saying overnight. And a good morning to you. Thanks for tuning in to 23 ABC News at 430 on this Friday. I'm Mike Hart. I'm Melissa Flores in for Danielle Kern Camp. We're going to check in now with Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk. A possible heat wave? It's lurking. Yeah, yeah but we have lurking. to. It's, it's out there and you're just like, stop looking at me, heat waves. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you're not stop welcome here. <laughs> so yeah, but that's uh, starting on Sunday. Now we were hoping to hold it off till Monday and it's now coming at the end of your weekend. But I have great news for today. Look at all of these beautiful colors on this map. Basically, we have a whole lot of heat and humidity far off to our east. You're hearing the country talk about how bad it is for them because not only are they talking about temperatures in the 90s, but the humidity is making it feel like it's 105 to 110. But that's not like our 105 to 110. That is so uncomfortable. We couldn't even handle it and we're used to the heat. So the nice thing is you see those arrows digging in over California. That's a weak trough. It just means some breezy conditions. All of that, they're calling it chilly air into Canada. Isn't coming our way, but we are going to see several degrees of cooling instead of yesterday's 100. We briefly hit 100 officially. We are getting to just the mid 90s today with a fresh breeze. Air quality is so nice. It's actually just a few points away from being in the good range wow. today. So as you're waking up, getting your day started, 60s and 70s here on the valley floor, 50s and 60s up into those mountains. And then later on this afternoon, temperatures several degrees below average means 95 for Bakersfield, 80 in Fraser Park. Most of their day spent to the 70s up there. You have highs in the 70s for Pine Mountain Club and Bear Valley Springs, low 90s up into the Kern River Valley. For our roadways, thankfully, I just checked, no crashes to report early this Friday morning. Happening overnight, city fire crews got the jump on a small building fire that started in a tree. Nearly a dozen resources were called out to the back of a home on 8th and K Streets just before 3 o'clock to reports of a house on fire. When they arrived, they found a tree that was set on fire that was beginning to spread to a small attached room to the back of the house. Officials say they can the converted space was not occupied at the time, though. Nearby homes were evacuated as a precaution. Nobody was injured due to the location in a residential area. Numerous engines and two battalion chiefs responded to this call. The cause of the fire is still unknown. Local officials say they are very optimistic about what lies ahead for Bakersfield and mapped that out yesterday in the annual State of the City luncheon. City Manager Alan Tandy speaking at the event saying the city is in quote, excellent shape. Funds raised from Measure N are helping the Bakersfield police as well as fighting homelessness and improving economic development. Officials now have budgeted $11.5 million to help provide for housing, proper care and programs to help get people off the streets. Tandy says homelessness will be a major focus this upcoming year and most likely the biggest issue that Tandy's successor will tackle. Mayor Karen Goh also said she's very excited and committed to tackling the city's biggest issues. The community is rapidly growing and for that it takes even greater services. Of course, we talked about the impact on homelessness and it takes all of us to really solve this. We are definitely concerned about businesses and residents making sure they are safe, but we also have homeless persons and they are people. So looking at the balance of that and solving it in a comprehensive way. Go and other officials also mentioned more technology based careers are coming to town. They stress that even though Bakersfield is heavy on oil and ag, they have to diversify, they say, to continue expanding and moving forward. Now to a traffic alert, drainage work is continuing on Chester Avenue tonight through the weekend. The work is set for the 24th Street Improvement Project. It will require an around the clock closure at Chester and K Street starting tonight at 7 and continuing through Monday at 5 a.m. The previously planned closure of L Street will be rescheduled so that work can be done on Chester and K Street. Drainage work isn't expected to impact eastbound traffic on 23rd Street or westbound traffic on 24th Street. As always, slow down and watch for workers in the area. The Bakersfield Police Department needs your help to identify four suspects wanted for questioning in regards to a robbery at the Albertsons on Panama Lane. According to police, it happened May 30th, just before 11 p.m. There are full descriptions of all four suspects on our website. You can find it at turn23.com. If you know any of these people, you're asked to contact BPD at 327-7111.
In your ag report, new details have been released in the theft arrest at Wonderful Citrus. According to a police warrant obtained by 23 ABC, two men, James Wilson and Brian Landrith, were arrested last month after they were seen entering Wonderful Citrus's property. They allegedly stole copper from a well pump. When security staff approached, the suspects took off in a car, ramming a security vehicle, which was occupied. Security staff was then able to detain the two men. According to the warrant, Wonderful reported damages and loss of $5,000. There have been a number of copper thefts since April, and the warrant checked their phones to see if they were involved into other crimes. A common pesticide that scientists say causes brain damage in kids and fetuses will keep going on in our fruits, vegetables, and other crops. The EPA says it will not ban chlorpyrufus because opponents didn't prove the pesticide is unsafe. Advocates could appeal the decision to the courts. The pesticide is banned in household products, but farmers apparently use it quite a bit. They say it's necessary to protect their crops. Meantime, wet winters, such as the one California just had, helped replenish underwater ground supplies, and a number of irrigation districts helped the process along through a technique called conjunctive use. This method apparently coordinates the use of surface and groundwater supplies within a specific region. One Fresno County Water District said it's been using this technique for more than 100 years, moving water into recharge basins to filter into underground water tables. Back here at home for the 27th year in a row, ag teachers from Kern County and other communities will come together for a three-day seminar. It's the 27th installment of Teachers Ag Seminar at the Kern County Ag Pavilion. Organizers say there are 45 teachers registered from Kern and around the state. The three-day program is designed to give teachers an in-depth course on agriculture and learn from those who work every day to provide food and fiber. It also includes tours with local farmers and ranchers at the Kern County Fairs School Garden and other organizations. The seminar gets underway Monday and wraps up on Wednesday from 7.30 until 4.30 p.m. each day at the Ag Pavilion on East Bell Terrace. There is no need to sugarcoat this since Krispy Kreme will be giving you your fill, the popular spot offering a special deal today. The donut chain's giving away a dozen donuts for $1 in celebration of its birthday, but you got to buy a dozen at regular price. So you buy the dozen, then you get the dollar. Yeah, there's a Krispy Kreme in Bakersfield on Rosedale Highway near Callaway. They say you need, might want to show up early in the past. There have been long lines for this special dollar deal. And that's not all. You're also going to have a chance to enjoy some different sweet treats tomorrow. That's because Cinnabon is also taking part. They're participating and rolling out their bite size rolls giveaway. You just head to the mall bakery from noon until six o'clock and get two bond bites for free with no purchase necessary. They taste just like the original rolls. They say just in a smaller size. There's a Cinnabon at the Valley Plaza Mall in Bakersfield, so you can enjoy these bite size sweet treats with family and friends all for free. All right, let's take a look at some of the other events that are happening this weekend around town. Furry officers will be taking over Robo Bank Arena tomorrow for the 2019 K-9 trials. The event will showcase the skills of police K-9 teams locally and from across the region. Organizers say it's a fun event for the entire family. Proceeds from the competition benefit the Armed Forces Support Foundation. The trials are set to take place tomorrow from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. at Robo Bank. And the animal fun doesn't stop there. No, you can make your way out to the California Living Museum tonight or for Twilight at Calm tomorrow night. Not tonight. The local zoo is inviting the public to come out between 5 and 8 p.m. Hey, bring a picnic dinner yeah. and enjoy it. Sitting not with but close to these animals. Admissions $5 for adults, three for kids 3 to 12 years of age. And the special event continues through August 24th. Going to be a nice night for that, Elena? Going to be a nice night for that. Yes, we have some cooling starting today. You see some high thin clouds out there. It's going to be another sunny day, but we have a breeze coming on shore. So these low 70s right now in Bakersfield climb to mid 90s later today. Now that is hot, but it's sunny. We have moderate air quality and that fresh breeze. About 5 to 25 mile an hour winds here on the valley floor. Winds out in Paso today, taking them to 77 for their high. A fantastic evening if you want to head over to the Mid-State Fair today. I know a lot of people are talking about the incredible lineup they have for the concerts over there. Tonight, Billy Idol, it'll be 69 for that concert. Tomorrow, Cardi B, it'll be 71 at 730. Perfect temperatures. And then Blake Shelton takes the stage Sunday night. Now, if you don't already have tickets, I'm sorry, they're all sold out, but I know many people from Bakersfield were able to get their hands on those before they were out of them. If you're staying here in town, you can take the kids to the movie in the park. They're showing it at Mesa Marin Park tonight. It'll be incredible 
equals to 86 at dusk about 830 and then 81 by 10 p.m. And those nice fresh breezes actually make it feel a couple degrees cooler tomorrow. Nice weather if you are heading to the family summer movie theater series at Fox Theater. They're showing Cinderella at noon 87 out there warming steadily to the low 90s tomorrow afternoon. So then for twilight at calm tomorrow night, mid 90s falling to the upper 80s as you're wrapping up that picnic and heading back home. Coming up on 23 ABC News, an outbreak is causing health concerns for pets and their owners. Details on how many people have gotten sick and the product that is impacted. Plus, hey, do you feel the need? For speed? Yeah, a lot of people have for <laughs> a long time. And guess who showed up at Comic-Con? Yeah, it's coming. Number two, 440. We're coming right back. Welcome back. Calm and quiet out there is really good news. Those overnight construction projects try to wrap up about 5 a.m. so that things are back open for the morning commute and then they stay pretty quiet for the weekend ahead. So all of those big highways here in Baker sort of running along at the speed limit. And as we take a look at the rest of our county highways, the passes are all wide open. No issues on the grapevine if you're heading out of town. No problems on the five or out to the beach if you get to go that way. In health news, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration are investigating a multi-state outbreak of salmonella infections linked to contact with pig ear dog treats. The CDC reported that there are now a total of 93 people infected with the outbreak strains of salmonella in 27 states. 20 people have been hospitalized. No deaths have been reported, though. The FDA says salmonella discovered in pig ear treats can infect people either from handling the treats or directly directly from a dog once it becomes ill. On July 3rd, Pet Supplies Plus recalled external icon bulk pig ears stocked in open bins because they might be contaminated with salmonella. In consumer news, Boeing has taken a major financial hit related to the grounding of the 737 MAX jets. That grounding comes after two deadly crashes involving the planes in the last year. The company now says it will record a $4.9 billion after-tax charge in the second quarter related to that grounding. That charge comes out to $8.47 per share. The aerospace giant set to report second quarter earnings next week. The 737 MAX jet is Boeing's best-selling plane, and it was grounded in March following one of the plane crashes in Ethiopia that killed everyone on board. It was the second deadly crash involving that type of plane in just months. Meantime, record territory for Microsoft, posting profits of nearly $34 billion in the last quarter. That's a jump of 12% compared to the year before. The company's revenue is driven by gains in cloud computing and business sales. One down spot, though, revenues from gaming, which fell 10%. A new look for a classic vehicle, General Motors unveils the eighth generation of the Chevrolet Corvette. The 2020 edition of the car has an engine placed behind the seats, which some say is the largest change for the car since its debut in 1953. The GM president says it drives better than any vehicle in Corvette history. The price tag for the Stingray begins near $60,000, which surprised some analysts who thought it would be more expensive. Entertainment news, San Diego Comic Con had a need, a need for speed. <laughs> yeah, that guy stopped by. 34 years ago, I made a movie in San Diego right here. I actually shot across the street at a restaurant. For me, Top Gun is about, co is about competition. It is about family, it is about sacrifice, is it about heroism? You know, it's about aviation, and I love aviation. It's a love letter to aviation. Tom Cruise stopping by to debut the trailer for Top Gun Maverick. It's not Top Gun 2. Right, Top right. Top Gun Maverick. Comedian Conan O'Brien was finishing up a panel discussion for the upcoming film Terminator Dark Fate when he turned and introduced Tom to the unsuspecting audience. Cruz, of course, played Lieutenant Pete Maverick Mitchell in the 1986 film. 86 hmm. film, 35. The new movie, scheduled to come out next June. Will Iceman be in it? Stay tuned. No. Well, here's a story about a chance for you to feel like one of the Brady Bunch. HGTV kicked off a very Brady contest on its website this week. The network will allow seven fans of the Brady Bunch to live in the home featured on the program for a it's whole week. It's now a reality show? Well, kind of. I mean, 
you're going to get to live in it for a whole week. A week? Well, not you, probably. <laughs> the, the network bought the home in the Studio City neighborhood in Los Angeles last year. It then renovated it to match the show's interior. To enter its contest, you have to submit a video explaining why you should win a week-long stay. Fans have until September 11th to upload their videos. Mike? I... Well, that's the whole thing because you know that when they shot it, it's, the, the front of it was the only thing that the studio created this, right, the interior. Right. Mm -hmm. So now they've created that inside. Now they've matched wow. it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Spent a lot of money to do so as well. So it would be fun to see the inside and to stay there with a bunch of strangers. Why not? Uh, so, hey, high pressure is in control over the Four Corners region. A little bit of that monsoonal moisture just out of reach. But what we're feeling is a nice fresh breeze coming in from the west today. So that leaves our air quality in the moderate range for another day. But 54 on the index, only four points away from still being in that good range. Range. Really nice to have such nice air quality and this fresh breeze, which is about 5 to 20 miles an hour this morning and picking up with wind gusts to about 25 miles an hour here on the valley floor later today, about 35 in the mountains, about 40 or so down into the desert. So here we are at noon and see that westerly wind picking up as that continues to come on shore this afternoon into this evening. We'll have those 25 mile an hour wind gusts right on through about 8, 9 o'clock. And so with that, it's going to be a really nice evening dropping to the 80s with a fresh breeze. If you're going out and you have any plans, it's a bit windy down into to the desert all day today and especially this afternoon into this evening. Not enough to need a wind advisory, but enough to where you want to take it easy if you're going to be heading that way. So we're already starting to see a couple locations have just a little bit of cooling. You'll notice more of that cooling later this afternoon where we have 50s, 60s and 70s countywide right now. Later today we will have just 80s and 90s and it's all thanks to that fresh ocean breeze as we dig a deep but weak trough out off of our region. Now we still have a little bit of onshore flow tomorrow, but high pressure starts building. So we're about the same as temperatures, but the wind is cut off and then high pressure really starts dominating Sunday. So those 100s now trying to come back for that afternoon. Much hotter on Monday at 103. And then you see the cloud cover coming in. Monsoonal moisture wants to push in from the east Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So these 100s not only very hot, but feeling a little humid. Like always, we're going to see a lot of that monsoonal moisture evaporating, not able to get all the way down to the valley floor. But there is a slightly better chance of scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms for the current desert and possibly our local mountains next week as well. So low 90s today and tomorrow in the Kern River Valley, low 80s in Tatchby and Fraser Park the next two days. Then after that, hotter on Sunday and dry, feeling more humid, a little steamy out there, and that very slight chance of showers as we head into our first monsoonal event of the season. Still to come, showing some kindness at the ball game. Look at that baseball. What's so special about it for this young Phillies fan? We'll explain. Plus, making recycling a priority. Details on how a kiosk is paying people for going green. That's coming up next. Welcome back. It is 4:54 now. A recycling kiosk in Beijing is trying to motivate people to be more environmentally friendly by giving out prizes. Everyone loves prizes. Hmm. Yeah, the machine's called the Smart Box. There it is, equipped with artificial intelligence that tracks participation and rewards for people who do this. Authorities say each Smart Box can handle trash and recycling from about a thousand households. The smart box not only cuts back on total garbage production, it also reduces the amount of manpower that's devoted to handling it. I love Brilliant. prizes. This moment of human kindness is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Two young Philadelphia Phillies baseball fans shared a heartwarming moment after going after the same foul ball during a game. 11 year old Frankie McLaughlin is now the proud owner of a foul ball, even though he wasn't the one who caught it. Nine year old Jaden Ham is actually the one who beat him to it, but Jaden already had another foul ball and without thinking twice, he gave that one to McLaughlin. Frankie gave him a hug in return and the two had never met before, believe it or not. So the kind gesture sparked a new friendship. He was very excited. He was he, his mom was actually um, laughing um, because she was very excited because because they have never got a ball and he was he was he was like thanks bro. Oh, following the good deed, Jamie says the Phillies gave him another ball. Both boys say they want their baseballs signed by Phillies right fielder Bryce Harper, who says he's open to meeting them. And the Phillies are offering the boys free tickets to another game. Look at that Fantastic. act of kindness. Look. Just 
look at how it's spread. That's so great. So I've sweet. seen baseball uh, fans actually grab balls from little kids. Yeah. So to hand them over to the little kid and kid to kid, super generous. That's awesome. I love that kindness story. Thank you. So we're at 71 in Bakersfield. We are four degrees cooler than yesterday. It's still going to be a dry heat out there. It is still hot, but it is down below average as we get to 95 this afternoon. Five degrees down from yesterday, which did officially briefly hit 100 here in Bakersfield. 96 tomorrow. Okay, not bad. Trying to get back to those 100s on Sunday. Feeling the heat all next week. This is looking like a long heat wave, which is pretty typical for July. You see our average high is 98. Temperatures just a few degrees above that, but a long stretch of 100s is hot for us. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we will have some humidity thanks to the monsoon as well. Still to come in the next hour, speaking with the man who started the viral event regarding <laughs> Area 51. We'll tell you what he said about the buzz this idea has been getting. Ooh, when 23 ABC returns. <laughs>